Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about the Mantis Blackbeard. And this is a device that will automatically reset the trigger in your AR-15 to allow you to do repetitious dry fire practice. And this is actually something that I am using right now to prepare myself for the Kansas meet of the tactical games coming up here this August. Something I'm devoting a lot of my time and energy and preparing for. And this is a device that I think might be helpful for me in preparing for that. Might be helpful for you guys as well, but we'll get into that here in just a second. If you guys don't already know, fitandfire.com has a newsletter that is set up. You can find the uh, registration form for that newsletter on the homepage, and I'd encourage you guys to take a look into that. This month, for the month of March, I am doing a $50 Brownells giveaway, so if you're not already signed up, go ahead and do that. You'll see how it all works out in the next newsletter. I'll announce the winner for that at the end of the month. We're going to be doing giveaways every single month, so if you guys are interested and not only finding out what's going on with the channel, uh, what deals are out there right now, and what training is happening across the country, please sign up for the newsletter and you guys can check that out. All right, so let's get into this video again. We're going to be talking about the Mantis Blackbeard, and it's this little device right here followed up with the battery pack, which goes into your magazine well of your AR-15. And this is actually a really cool device that I have had a lot of fun with so far. Like I mentioned, I am preparing for the tactical games and I am was looking for something to integrate into my workouts so that I could not only train fitness, but also uh, do some dry fire stuff as well. Luckily enough for me, I have been able to find a gym that is very open to the whole idea and has allowed us to use the Mantis Blackbeard. Now, the first question that would come out is, well, Mark, you've just done a video on the Mantis X10 Elite, and how does it differ from this? Well, first and foremost, this will automatically reset the trigger on your AR-15, so you don't have to worry about charging your firearm each and every single time. In addition to that, the way I see it, and this is actually a good question that was posed by a really good friend of mine, how does it better equip you than the X10? Now, the X10 does great. It does a, a lot of really, really good stuff but there is kind of a tiered approach to it, the way I see it. The X10 is going to be more for fundamental use. So your trigger squeeze, your sight picture, your sight alignment, breath, draw stroke, all of that type of stuff is what the X10 is really, really going to focus on to allow you to either uh, maintain or improve your fundamentals. What the Blackbeard aims to do is take those fundamentals to the next level and allow you to go through all of that stuff in repetition, in real time. And that's something I really, really did like about the concept when it came to utilizing the Blackbeard. So, the next question is, how does it work? The trigger reset mechanism and laser is contained in this piece that will insert into your upper receiver. And that's one of the great things about this as well is it is extremely safe. You're going to have to remove all of your bolt carrier group and charging handle and your source of magazine because this is the battery pack that fits into your magazine well. And you have no possibility of lighting off around while you're doing your dry fire practice because all ammunition is out of the firearm and there's no way for a round to be chambered. So that's something I really, really do like. Now, if you're doing dry fire practice, that should be in a separate room anyway. All your ammunition should be as far removed from you as possible, but that is a really cool aspect of it. The next thing is on the battery pack or the magazine here, you have these two leads and then you have two leads on the underside and that is how it functions. You should be able to hear it here. You should... 
That is the mechanism down here, resetting your trigger, and then up front, as you actually pull the trigger and force it to uh, reset the trigger, a laser will go out to uh, show you where your impact is. In addition to that, uh, you are able to zero this laser to your sight, uh, whether it be iron sights or red dot. With these adjustments uh, right here, you just take an Allen key, put it in there, and you're able to adjust uh, elevation and windage as well. So um, really cool concept, something I really did like using and uh, have been able to use it at my local gym. So let's show you how to go ahead and set this up. Here is my 14.5 uh, pin welded AR-15. It's an Arrow Precision M4E1. And um, there is one piece that I'm going to tell you guys that you're going to need to pay attention to. I'll get to that here in just a second. But just pull out the rear takedown and remove your bolt carrier group and your charging handle. Insert the Blackbeard into the upper receiver and then go ahead and put the hammer down and then close it. Take the battery pack and place it into the firearm and uh, into your AR and there you go. So one of the great features about this is since it's resetting the trigger, you're able to utilize your safety lever on your AR-15. So you're able to start at a low ready or whatever, bring it up, take that safety off, and then still be able to utilize the Blackbeard, which is a really nice function for how they've got this set up. So everything is exactly the same as it should be as you're at the range only without the recoil. And that's something that we'll talk about here in just a little bit. But uh, as I said, bring it up and you are capable of seeing what is happening with that laser hitting on your target. One of the great things, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but you have the ability to adjust windage and elevation on this. So if you want to align that with your red dot at a certain distance, whether it be 20 yards or 10 yards or whatever, something that you're doing consistently at the same uh, distance, you can do that as well. So one of the great things about having this currently and then prepping myself for the tactical games is the fact that my gym has allowed me to bring this to their facility and uh, start working on a couple of different um, workouts to not only apply stress to my body and doing an actual workout, but also to like do some relay drills and running back and forth and shooting as well. And that has really helped not only show where I'm lacking and areas that I need to improve, but also where I am doing really good as well. One of the things that we did uh, to help with this is that we use the Mantis Laser University app. It's a free app that you can download onto your phone. And then what we did was we pasted a target on the wall and then used one of our phones to lock in on that target and then we're able to see where our hits were and get some feedback from that app as well. So that is gonna be something different than the Mantis app that you would use with the X10, um, Mantis X uh, device. So just keep that in mind. Again, it's free, so it's easy for you to uh, download and utilize. And that is kind of where I'm at at the moment. I'm still going to do a lot of work with this and prepping for the tactical games. But one of the other areas that I did want to talk about is the fact that uh, this isn't necessarily perfect. And it may not be perfect for you, and I completely understand that. One of the things that you're going to need to take into consideration is... Um, the fact that this may not work with all types of triggers. This right here is a Geisley SSAE trigger and I have issues with it from time to time where the Blackbeard, the Blackbeard will not reset it. Uh, I have had the most success on a standard mil spec trigger, but if you have upgraded triggers, that may be an issue with the Blackbeard. Now, I've gotten it to work 
it's worked just fine. It is currently working right now. So we're good right there, but on occasion it will kind of hiccup. And the best way to fix that is to just drop the magazine or the battery pack, reinsert it and try to see if it will reset. And that usually works. The other thing too is this is set up for my Dead Air Sandman S and the last time that I had this out shooting was with a training course, Chris Costa, and I ran it suppressed. About 1200 rounds through this suppressed and it was all steel case stuff. So this rifle was filthy. Not thinking about it, I just took the Blackbeard, dropped it in and started running it. And all of that carbon and grime and grit and dirt and everything else did work itself into the mechanism of the Blackbeard and kind of seized it up a little bit. I was able to get it taken apart, um, just you know, pulled the Blackbeard and uh, took a cloth and cleaned out the trigger reset area and that was able to correct the problem. So my advice is before you start using the Blackbeard, make sure that you have completely and thoroughly cleaned your rifle. I'm not a guy that cleans my rifle on a regular basis, but um, maybe I should. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you so much for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If you guys are interested, again, swing on by fitandfire.com. Sign up for the newsletter. I would greatly appreciate it. If you really want to support the channel as well, share this or any of my other videos out with friends and subscribe. If you guys are interested in doing that, I would really appreciate it. I know you have to fill out uh, or set up an account and all that jazz and some people may not want to do that, but if you would, it would greatly help out the channel and I'd appreciate it. Okay, we're going to catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.